this trailer is so beautiful. Hold on, I'm already recording. <clears throat> yes, everybody. We have all heard the news now. The famous developers of Ini Builds or Ini Builds or whatever have released their beautiful new Airbus A300 600R for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. With which they just want to change the world of MSFS, really. You know, they really wanted to make the most realistic and immersive experience we've ever had in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And everybody, let me tell you, they really did a good job at this. I mean, you know, this is a very viral airplane with their beautiful, amazing trail. I mean, look at, I mean, they did really good job at cinematography here, rewarded with 51,000 views on their trailer. And also on their like info video, they uploaded on release. They also got 50,000 views, but in 18 minutes showed what this airplane is capable of. And let me tell you, it is a lot. And everybody, I mean, come on. I wasn't hesitant at all of buying this airplane for 40 pounds here on the Ini Build store. 40 pounds, everybody. A lot of people regard this price as very low. It's quite on the low end of the spectrum when it comes to, you know, the other premium airliners and stuff. Let me tell you, this thing is probably the most realistic thing we've ever had. And so I bought it. And so I've downloaded it. And we shall not waste time trying out this brand new airplane. We've got two airplanes included in this package. The A306R, which is the airliner variant, and the 600R F, which is the cargo variant. And let's maybe, oh, come on, let's spawn in, especially in the cargo variant, which I believe is the coolest as it's the one that flies around a lot still today. Yes, every cargo airline has an A300 still, despite its age. I mean, this plane came out in the 1980s, but it's ever since aged like fine wine because it's such an amazing airplane. I mean, it is perfect for cargo flying as it's so wide. As you can see, there's a fire engine crashing into us. That's good. It is very utilitarian as it can land pretty much anywhere that an A320 can land. So, you know, it doesn't have much limitations, which is great, especially if you compare it to like a 777. This thing can go anywhere even to the middle of the Caribbean, maybe even Lukla Air, we'll figure that out. And also it's proven itself as being pretty resilient against missiles and stuff, which is great. Let me get into the cockpit of this beautiful A300. And while it isn't the first time that any builds have come up with this very cockpit, I mean, not too long ago, they came up with their A310 together with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. This was like a freeware airplane, which was amazing. Still has the pretty much same cockpit, but also the Beluga airplane has this very same A300 and A310 cockpit, which doesn't look very much like Airbus at all. I mean, look at all these switches here above and also look at this quite Boeing yoke. I mean, this was one of the only planes that Airbus built with a yoke. But yes, as always, e really didn't let us down on the cockpit. This is quite, you know, immaculate. Although, of course, the circuit breakers don't work, but that doesn't matter. Let me get into the actual cabin, the cargo cabin of this very airplane, which is very immersively detailed. Check this out. I mean, we can even operate the cargo bay here with this thing here. I mean, not only the cockpit is usable, it's also the door here. Let's close the door here on our own here, which we can do. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I want to see. But with this tablet here, we can even load stuff, right? This out here, weight and balance tab. We can add parts, racing team charter. Oh yeah, we can even hear all those racing stuff being put into our airplane. We can see that now being loaded up. We can, of course, see inside of our F1 cars. That is beautiful. And check out that level of detail in the texturing as well. We can perhaps even add some horses. Okay. And we can hear horses. Damn, horses are big. Also, they look quite zombie-ish to me. Well, this now like, puts like proper ethic, like pressure on you as a pilot as well. You really don't want to crash your A300 if you've got a horse stable on. So that's really, really cool. In general, like, it, it, like just visually, this airplane is amazing. Can you see how much detail there is in the engines? Guys, as you can see, the blades are numbered just like they are in real life so that, you know, ground maintenance team can actually, you know, recognize which blade is, for example, missing whatever it is. This is a lot of stuff that's been added. So let me try to fly this airplane. Quite simple, sort of the batteries and stuff like that. I mean, we've flown this airplane before. I know this, just like 
my back pocket. There we go. We can hear the APU fire up with our beautiful tablet. Let's go ahead and close the door. Close all doors. Beautiful. Just like that. Check out these beautiful animations of all those cargo stuffs being closed. All right. There we go. APU generators working just like a chill. Let's turn on all the pumps. Beautiful. Turn on everything that says off on it. That's a very Airbus procedure. That is beautiful. Let's get our systems here to work. There we go. Put that all to nav. There we go. Looking good. Which in real life would have taken eight minutes as always to align the airplane, you know, so that it finds the locations. Unless we, you know, set in the aircraft settings that we wanted to go instant. All those beautiful classics we already know. Let me just turn on the engines here starter before that we might need to turn on our bleed apu bleed that's what i need there we go looking good beautiful start um, number one engine looking good let's go to the initialization page mm -hmm. there we go set an airport just like that that works beautiful there we go align irs there we go pay the taxes and there we this is just work so just like it should we've started up the airplane with our second engine now being able to turn on very well despite the stairs still being there. <laughs> that is just beautiful. Let me go ahead and you know, try the airliner variant now that we've figured out all the cargo stuff. There you go, 300R. Now, with this airplane, we only have the Emi builds and like a very basic livery included probably due to copyright reasons, we have to download our own liveries, which is very simple here on the Enibolt store. You just go to liveries here and you can download all you need. A 300 airliner, for example, install some Lufthansa livery. Beautiful. I mean, it's never been simpler than that. And these are Enibolt's own liveries, so you can expect high quality. And just like that, we're on board Lufthansa. Beautiful. With, of course, the registration fitting the actual airplane. That is beautiful as well. Let's maybe take a look here into this passenger cabin. Sadly, we don't have any creepy passengers added in, but this is the business configuration. Yes, you know, a little cabin is added in as well. Very good detail. I always like to see. Now, let's maybe get into the cockpit and finally start flying. God damn it. This airplane's got a lot of power. Beautiful. Those two engines are roaring up as they should. I mean, the A300 was the first two-engine wide-body airplane and, you know, changed the world of flying and stuff. Where it had always been four or three engines. I mean, this airplane also was, of course, ETOPS certified. You can hear those beautiful engines roar up. Let's go into the cockpit once again where we can find proper performance. Check this out. Beautiful, just like that. We needed half of this runway to take off, and we can put that landing gear up. We can see this beautiful and <laughs> gear bay. Look at that, so beautifully modeled. Although there's some uh, people inside the stowage missing, that would have been good detail. But check this out. I've never seen a beautiful animation like that. Shut up, all those friends. <laughs> No! We can put the flaps up and we can also see those slats here come back to neutral position. What a nice texturing. What a nice modeling. I like to see that. Um, good. Let's maybe try to land the airplane as well. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, uh, even if it's St. Bartholomew Airport. I mean, I, I, I talked about the good performance of this plane, so I gotta prove it now. Let's put those flaps fully down to 40 degrees. Now, passengers, please get ready for the most beautiful landing you'll ever see here in the St. Bartholomew Island. Mm -hmm. And finally, some real instruments, goddamn. Instead of looking at an iPad all the time, we can see we're at 130 knots looking good. And we can see the very Stephen Hawking, very non-enthusiastic GPW. US call outs here on the Zerbus. Reverse thrust. Full in. All in. Perfect. 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 I can't believe this has just come. Like, this has just worked so well. Yes, everybody. Similar performance to an A320, although we're in a wide body. This thing's got two roads, goddammit. In fact, I actually did want it to show an overrun, like an accident happening. Oh, no! Oh, that was actually looking quite bad. All right, there you go. Because I wanted to show you a nice feature. Oh, no, we've crashed. Everybody has to evacuate out of the airplane before it blows up. So, ground equipment. 
Oh, and... Yeah, just like that. We have just deployed our emergency slide. Yes, look at that beauty. Yes, yes, how could this overrun happen? Perhaps we didn't check our brakes beforehand. Yeah, yes, any build is very proud of the maintenance options on their new A300 because this airplane shows wear. For example, in their aircraft tire. As you can see, after doing like several landings, your airplane tire does start to wear. The brakes start to wear. And check this out. This is what a relatively worn airplane tire looks like. This is all simulated and over time has to be replaced. The tires, the brakes, the APU. In fact, it might be time to service everything. Look at that. We can have a beautiful man here that services our APU. Look at that. Very NPC. It's not really moving. As you can see, the engine cowlings are opening as well for service. Let me tell you, I mean, any builds can be very proud of their airplane. This is amazing. Let's maybe try to land this airplane at local airport because I talked about that earlier. Yes, FedEx has to deliver some urgent freight like an F1 car to Lukla Airport here in the middle of Nepal. Right, we are overspeeding quite a bit, but that's just fine. It's a good thing that we've just replaced our tires. All right, come on, let's get going. Oh yeah, there we go, come on. Careful. Oh. Uh. Well, this airplane might be too big for this runway. Although we might now require a little bit like a wing service as well. So yes, everybody, that's all I can say about the new A300 from Unibuild. If you want a plane that's able to fly anywhere, if you want an airplane that is uh, very realistic for a very fair price of 40 pounds, I think you should get this. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I can't wait to be flying around with this a little bit more. Um... Mm, yeah, maybe you, if you cut down a tree or two, there you go. We're able to take off just fine here as always. That looks great and FedEx has successfully delivered. So everybody, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Wellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A3. 80s. Thank you.